What do you think? Who thinks this is viral? Raise your hand. Who thinks this is bacterial? I think I see more hands tentatively going up. I think this is probably viral because this patient has had symptoms for days and because the headache has gradually gotten worse. What if this patient had a rash? What do you worry about? Allergy. Allergy. People who are very sick with allergies can have a lot of symptoms and fever, but doesn't help us so much with what kind of meningitis? Herpes virus. Herpes can cause meningitis and can certainly cause a rash. That's a great point. What else? Neisseria meningitis. Neisseria meningitis, exactly. And in young people, that's the thing that you're most worried about. How long to take medicine? Does anybody have an idea? Four to six weeks. Four to six weeks. Uh, yes, and sometimes even longer, depending on the bacteria. And what do you treat with? Antibiotics. And how would you give the antibiotics? Vein. By vein, yes. Intravenous antibiotics. What is the prevent of disease? That's a great question. Thank you for asking that. So what do we do to prevent endocarditis? Sanitization. Sanitization, yes. So when we're going to draw blood or give patients an injection, we wipe them off with alcohol beforehand to try and sterilize the skin. Obviously, the number one thing to prevent this is to have the patient stop using injection drugs, but that can be a hard process. And the idea of harm reduction is to take small steps and be ready to help the patient to quit when they are ready. Heart rate is 130 BPM. Blood pressure, 1947 millimeters of mercury. Negative findings is our edema to face and lips, raised articular lesions, low blood pressure, and wheezing. Treatment of this condition is administration of epinephrine, airway management, and oxygen management. Thank you for listening. In this particular case, in this differential diagnosis, we have many things that are here, so many things. What makes you think that this patient is having an anaphylactic reaction to the medicine? Uh, oh, yes. Please. Difficulty breathing. So th that suggests that the reaction is in the lungs as well. Blood pressure drop. Blood pressure drop. That suggests that this patient may be in shock. What else? Raised urticaria. Raised urticaria. I'm reading this case, anaphylactic shock. <laughs> Which of these diagnoses might cause the patient to die right away? Do, we'll have several. Aortic dissection. Aortic dissection can uh, cause people to die right away. Why? Because the pre blood pressure is down. And what makes the blood pressure fall? Bleeding. Bleeding? Bleeding. Bleeding, yes. Yeah, so the aortic wall can rupture. What else? Aortic dissection. Aortic dissection, we talked about that. Okay. What other side effects happen for medicines? Uh, Pseudomembranous colitis. It's colitis. Yes. C. difficile colitis. Yes. Um, it's miserable. Very common. What else? Kidney failure. Kidney failure. Yes. So some medications really can harm the kidney. Yes. Liver damage. Liver. Reborn. Liver, yeah, so um, absolutely, liver toxicity. An important take home is that medicines can cause problems pretty much anywhere. <laughs> um, the skin commonly, occasionally myocarditis, almost every organ. So we talked about diarrhea, some medicines cause constipation. So, all right, thank you to everybody.